Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Dola Kwok, creative director of the Big Crafties. In today's video, I'll be showing us how to make a rosette, which you can attach to your toban cap or as a sleeve, or you can just attach to your dresses as an embellishment. All right, I have my toban cap made already, the V-shaped toban. I used scuba fabric as usual. Any thick, stretchy fabric works fine. The fabric I used was actually a leftover from a previous project. After making my turban cap, what I have left was of the measurement for the 3 inches by 12 inches width for 3 inches long or for the 3 inches length by 12 inches width. So what I will do now is I will fold it into two. So in fold I have 6 inches and I'm going to cut it. I have 6 inches like that and I will divide it into two. Now, after cutting it, I have the measurement for the 3 inches by 6 inches in two places. If you have enough fabric, like you're buying a yard of fabric, you can cut out 60 inches straight because a yard is about 60 inches long by 36 inches width. We just cut out your 60 inches and add more if you want to. So I'm going to join the two together like this. I'm going to sew them together like this. And the length becomes 86 inches. If you want a smaller rose, you can reduce it. If you want a larger rose or you want it to have more pleat, you can increase it. So I'm going to fold it into two that way. Then I use my office pins to secure the two edges together for the main time. I'm just going to hold them down like that for the main time. Then I used my chalk to do a curve there and I cut it out just to give it a defined shape. I repeat the same on the other end. I do a curve right there and I cut it out. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch like that from one end to the other end. It's just to make your fabric stay in place while working. Alright friends, that black thing you're seeing right now is called the felt fabric. It's also called wadding in Nigeria. So I just cut out the circle like that and I'm going to draw, I drew this spiral shape. It was just a freehand sketch, you know. Yes, it's because I do not have fabric, the pink fabric left. That's why I used a black felt material to cut my circle. It is advisable you use the color that matches the color of a or even the fabric itself. The exact fabric you're using, you can use it as well. Just cut out your circle and um, draw a spiral shape like what I did. Yes, if you're making it for a client, though, it will still be hidden. So I just decided to use the felt fabric I have. So the next thing we'll be doing is to start um, sewing the long strip on the felt fabric in that circular manner or that spiral manner you just sew it on those lines that i marked so you understand and while sewing you need to form pleats you're going to be forming pleats while sewing it on it this is what i mean guys on my sewing machine i'm going to sew this long strip round like that following the shape the spiral shape i drew on the felt fabric you understand I will also be making some small pleats while sewing it round. Okay, just watch what I'm doing. I'm going to stitch back, stitch there, then form pleats like that. Sew it like that on the felt fabric. So, and uh, I pleat. I continue to pleat and sew it round like that. So, just watch what I'm doing, friends. If you're watching my channel for the first time, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Dolly B Crafties, where we learn how to make different kinds of um, edges, scaffinators, turbans, fascinators, and um, the likes. 
So kindly subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. Click on the subscribe button, tap the bell icon beside it and uh, select the option to receive all notifications. So you always receive notifications whenever I upload new tutorials. And to all my subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thanks for all your support. You know, without you guys, we wouldn't be here. We just hit 15,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you so much. Now friends, I've sewn it up to this point. I sew it round and round like that and this is what or where I am. So I'm going to just um, roll it like that and tuck in the leftover what I have by the tip. I just tuck it in like that and I'm going to use my needle and try to tuck it or to secure it. So I formed my rosette as you can see guys. I use my needle and try to tuck it like that and um, we we'll move on to the final step now can you see how the back of my rosette looks like okay and um, i have glue gun plugged i'm actually going to glue my rosette to my turban cap and i will still tack with my needle and thread i just like using the glue first okay it actually sets it well for me before i finally tack it to my turban cap base so i'm going to use my old glue once the candle melts, I'm going to use that to glue it to my cap base, as you can see. Like I always say, place your cap on your manicure head or on your head to know where you place your design, okay? You need to first of all do that so that you're sure of where you're placing it because the glue will permanently make it stay on your cap. So while the glue is out, I use my needle and try to just tack it just secure it properly you know it's always better to tack because the glue will always expire later so this is how i made my reset turban thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please ask and um bye for now